Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do my July favorites and this is going to be a little bit of a combination between makeup and skincare as it usually is, but I wanted to show you how to use a few of these products. So it wasn't, I wasn't just talking about it, I was actually showing you some of my favorite things that I have been obsessed with over the past, to be honest with you, for several months. Um, so first of all, my hair is a little crazy on one side because the first thing I wanted to chat with you guys about is something that I actually have been really using because my time has been so limited lately. Um, and it is this really cool, let's see if I can get it to um, extend here, this really cool, this is like a flat iron and a brush in one. Um, it is by a company called, I believe it's A-S-A-V-E-A. -A -A. I'll put all the information below so you guys can see, but I have been using this to straighten my hair, um, especially when it's been dirty or I haven't had a ton of time to do it and I still just need to look put together and not so tired. Um, but this, they did send this to me and I have been so obsessed with it. It is really, really good. And it has this kind of thing right here where you can adjust the temperature. And for me, I want it done quick, so I use it on the 450 uh, setting. And all you do is literally go down your hair like this. If you have fine hair like me, I don't really separate it, but if you have thicker hair, separate it in sections and it'll be done in no time. Honestly, I was kind of skeptical about this in the beginning, but then when I started using it literally out of necessity, I have been like loving it. It is literally in underneath my sink, which is where all the things that I use go. I mean, look at it. it's straight in five seconds and it is so easy and quick to use for my moms out there or people that are running to work in the morning and you just have to straighten that hair. Look at you can just pull it and it kind of kicks out underneath. Um, it is the most amazing tool and it is so amazingly quick that I am now, it's a staple in my routine. Um, I have been loving it. And all I do is literally do that. It takes me um, maybe seven minutes to do my hair when I do it straight like this. And then all I do is just add a little bit of a serum. This is just by... Um, uh, Alterna. It's just like a little oil. And all I do is just put it on the ends and I pop it behind my ear and the hair is ready to rock and roll. It literally takes me no time. So if you are time crunched in the morning, you like to wear your hair straight, even if you have kind of that more coral, cor, uh, coily, excuse me, hair, and you want a hot tool that's going to keep your hair healthy and actually straighten it in a very kind of timely manner, I really urge you to try out this product. It is really, really fantastic. All right, so now I wanted to chat with you guys about, you know I'm obsessed with sunscreens. Um, I'm going to put this up real close, see if it can, see if it can, let's see here, focus. All right, love this sunscreen. The only thing I wish is that it was bigger. And I want to read you what the company said. This is a new indie company. Um, and I've been trying to support more indie brands because they need some love too. And it is called May Love. I think that's how you say it. I have a discount code in the description box for you where you guys can get um, a little bit of a discount. And the reason why I want to talk about this is because this is the lightest weight SPF I have ever used. It is SPF 50. No, sorry. This is SPF 30. And it is, it is zinc based. It has no white residue and it literally feels weightless on the skin. I can't tell you what an original formula this product is. Okay. So basically, it is a um, it is a, a Silicon Valley based company. So it's a California based company. It has been formulated by MIT engineers, chemists, and medical researchers and doctors. That's who it's been started by, which is awesome. 
Um, they basically uh, started this company so they could give you a great SPF to wear by itself or underneath makeup for the lightest weight texture. Uh, okay, so it took them over three years to formulate this product. So what they want to solve is the formulation of this is a mineral sunscreen. It's 18% zinc oxide, which is awesome. And they actually aim, what they say is, we aim for a pure zinc solution since it is better against wrinkle-causing UVA than titanium dioxide. Um, we didn't want to, uh, we didn't want our effectiveness watered down by titanium dioxide. The sun protector is great for even the most sensitive skin, yet it is just as light as the lightest chemical sunscreen. So no white residue or greasiness, and I can speak to that for sure. It also actually, they say, doubles as a smoothing makeup primer, and there's no pilling or flaking because it's not silicone-based. This is formulated without parabens, phthalates, synthetic dyes, or fragrances. It is hypoallergenic and won't clog your pores. It is also P uh, it's also PETA certified cruelty free and vegan. Hooray! This is awesome. So you can go ahead and go to the uh, link below, which I'll put it there, and you can actually receive 15% off of your orders. Um, yes. So all I do, and you don't need as much of this sunscreen as you normally would, so all I do is just pop it on, and it goes on so quickly and so smoothly it is not another layer to your makeup. Look at no no white residue and it is super lightweight. It takes just a few minutes for it to sink into the skin and you are ready to rock and roll. I love it. All right. So let's talk about a few more skincare options. I have been loving this NYX micellular water. It is alcohol free and it does not burn my eyes. So this is the micellular water that I'm now using every single morning. I found it at Target and I absolutely love it. And then just to kind of round out our skincare, I have three other uh, items. First of all, um, the Tatcha Pure One Step Cleansing Oil is my go-to these days. They did send this to me, but I've been dying to try it. And it is like, you know, I subscribe to a double cleanse. So this is the first thing that I use before I do the rest of my cleansing. And it really gets rid of amazing residue and makeup on the skin. Um, when I do my second cleanse, it really feels like it's actually cleansing my skin. So that is awesome. Um, and then I've also started using this Dr. Jart Water Fuse Hydro Sleep Mask. And what's awesome is this is for every skin type, but I really would suggest it for normal to dry skin. And what you do is you apply all of your skincare as you normally would, and then you actually apply your moisturizer and put this on top. It's like a water pack. Have you ever heard of that kind of moisturizer? It's called like a water pack sleeping mask. That's what this is. Is extremely lightweight and it just feels like water and my skin feels so hydrated in the morning that I just love it I don't really need like a heavy cream at night anymore using this and it is absolutely able to use every single night so what this does is it prevents water loss during sleep which we know that that happens um, and then it helps to visibly improve skin's te texture because the skin is more plump and hydrated. Hooray. And then uh, Glam Glow sent me this. Glam Glow Flash Mud Brightening Treatment. This is a physical and chemical exfoliator. You use it three nights in a row, or three mornings, but I recommend at night, three nights in a row, and my skin was so much brighter. I've been wanting to talk about this because, you know, to be honest, I'm not like the super fan of Glam Glow, but this is one of the masks I've tried that actually works. It definitely has brightened the skin. It evens out skin texture, and I really have been impressed with it. And when I used it three nights in a row, really saw great results in my skin. All right, and then my last one is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Cream, eye cream. 
I don't know what is in here, but I have been obsessed with this product. Um, it helps with puffiness, fine lines. It actually is my perfect base to concealer because I do believe it actually has dimethicone in it, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it provides a smoother surface so that when your concealer goes on, it really adds as a great primer for that. So this I honestly will buy over and over and over again. All my mature ladies try this. I think you will love it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to apply a little bit more makeup because I have a few other things to share with you and uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, so I have applied my foundation, concealer, a little bit of blush, and I wanted to continue on my favorites. So basically, I have been loving this Pixie by Petra. It is a blush or a cheek and lip kind of color or stain, and it is called Baby Petal, and I have that on right now underneath my uh, Laura Geller blush, and it is stunning. I love it. And then I'm going to finish off my cheeks with something that I have been so loving lately. And this is the new Becca Light Chaser uh, Highlighter in Rose Quartz. And I just think it is such a interesting product. It is, to me, it's not necessarily like a highlighter, um, but it is in the sense that it's going to give you some light but it has like a peach tint to it, so it goes really well with blush. It's also super subtle, so anybody that's looking for a highlighter that is more subtle, this is what you wanna go for. They have a lot of colors, so if you're not into the pink, you, they have a whole bunch of different colors. And then L'Oreal sent me a whole amazing host of lip colors, which I will be doing a quick little Instagram video of trying them on because they look amazing. Um, but I have loved this new lip pencil by them. This is the Color Riche Matte Lip Liner, and this is in number 110. And I have been wearing it by itself. I have have been wearing it with everything lately. And I don't get feathering when I use them. And it is matte, which I love. And they have a lot of new colors. Always great to find a new lip liner. And then of course my new uh, Urban Decay Lip Cream in Fuel. You can change the tone of the nude of this lipstick with whatever lip liner you use. And then to finish it off, I know I am like so late to the party, but I have been loving the Tatcha Luminous Skin Mist, Dewy Skin Mist, and I think it's just really beautiful and really finishes off the look. Oh, so pretty. All right, push that in. Hi. I got that oh, come here, Bubba. Come here, sweet baby. Hi, Daddy. Do you want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> I got bought a leaf for you. Well, thank you so much. I bought it from your garden. Oh, my gosh. From my... outside. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much, sweet baby. You're welcome, Molly. Can you say hi? Are you feeling better? Yeah? you say hi to them? Hi. <laughs> Little baby girl came in. All right, so that's basically it for my favorites for this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the information will be below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Mwah. Bye, you guys. <laughs> Good girl. All right.